women raise white children. We love them and they love us, but they can't even use the toilets in our houses. Minnie, are you in there? You are fired! You said to write about what disturbs me, particularly if it bothers no one else. I'd like to write something from the point of view of the help. I want to interview you. No maid is ever going to tell you the truth. That's a hell of a risk to take in Jackson, Mississippi. Courage! It isn't just about being brave. It's about overcoming fear and daring to do what is right for your fellow man. What changed your mind? God. And Miss Hilly Holbrook. The help. Okay, exactly what is the help anyway? Is it some kind of code or something? Well, here's the plot. Skeeter wants to write a book about maids working for white families during segregation in the 1960s. Good move. Really good move. However, there have been movies before where they do focus on segregation, but this is a completely different turn because it's mostly a film about Hope, as these maids, Amberine and Minnie, two of them, are trying to live in this white world. For example, they can't use the same toilet inside the house, they have to use a different stall, which at first, I got a little bit confused by this, like, why do they have to use a toilet outside? But as the movie progressed, I got to understand it a little bit more. The setting is well put together, but let's not forget about the really nice acting. Viola Davis is really good in this. Like, she should really deserve the Oscar for this role. I really loved her in Doubt, and I think that she really deserves the Oscar for this film as well. Next up, you have a lead. Emma Stone plays the really nice Skeeter, trying to, like, you know, get these black people to write about their stories as you can clearly see from you know the trailer they're trying to find their place in his world so i'll give credit here at least the good news is that they're not trying to go cliche or anything like that so the acting is really nice the thing that makes this film shine is that there's comedy and drama literally in the exact same scene really i swear to god it's like one moment they would try a use of comedy and then the next minute they would go like you know all crying moments so what you get is a combination of <laughs> oh yeah that, that's kind of what you get but does it play well well actually each scene really works on on its own for one thing i kind of like this idea although i don't know though but yeah, it's literally a doses of comedy and drama in the same thing. Proving that if you have a com like a really bad dramatic moment, you can turn it into a comedy no matter what. I kind of like this idea, although I had trouble trying to find exactly what to laugh at and what to cry at. But yeah, it's only a matter of time before your eyes start watering. Overall, this is a very nice, well-made film that focuses on segregation beautifully. Will it grab gold to the Oscars? It might. I'm predicting that it might win something in the acting category, or maybe... Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. This film stick, sticks very, very close to the book. Like, almost immediately. It'll definitely get a nomination for adaptive screenplay, absolutely. Will it win? It could. You just never know. Only time will tell. This is a very uplifting film for anybody, and anyone in general. And... If you listen closely, you may get a pretty good message at the end. It'll leave you heartbroken while make you laugh along the way. A very clever and well thought out film. I say definitely give this one a watch. 4 star out of 5. This has been a movie to make review. Saving you from bad movies, one movie at a time.